Welcome to another edition of Totally Awesome Fishing. This time we're going to be totally awesome boat cleaning. Everybody's got a boat that's covered in bits of fish, bits of muck, bits of oil, bits of grease and bits of salt water, but now you can clean it completely using a product called Code Clean. And it comes in a whole series of stages. Each one is numbered in steps. Now those steps are numbered on each bottle. One up to about 12 I think it is, but there's obviously more, but you, you, you know, you might not need, say, teak deck if you've got a fiberglass boat like I have, a regular 17 foot Wilson flyer, you know, you're not going to want some of the teak deck uh, cleaner and polisher. But what we're going to be using here are the first few steps, which comes as a concentrated marine wash. That's that one. Now that basically starts to break down all the rubbish and grease and grime and everything that you've got on the surface, right on the surface of the boat, on the fiberglass, on the top. And then you go to step two. That's a deep stain remover. It removes all the deep stains. You put it on with a brush, we'll explain how to do it in a moment. But that's the second stage. And the third stage is, I'd call it the sort of polish. It's like, well, they call it silicon polish protector. But that's the one that's gonna keep that grime, bits of weed, bits of fish bait from sticking on hard to your boat. And that's what you want. So next time round, it's absolutely cleaner. And then you've got different stages you can use. You've even got a bilge cleaner and a deodorizer. <laughs> I tell you, with our fishing boat, we get so much down the bilge, you definitely want to deodorise, that's for sure. You've also got glass cleaner and a polish that you can use on your glass, little finger applicator there, that's good. Uh, I'm not using the whole range, just enough for a fiberglass fishing boat. Stainless steel and the metal renovator. We're gonna be trying that on all the stainless there. So that's some of the range of the Coke cleaning products, which you can use on cars, you can use them on caravans, and they even do Look here, a whole range. They're idiot proof really because they're blue for fishing for marine, uh, general boat use I'd call that. And green is for the leisure use. And you know, same thing, you've got uh, stain neutralizers and uh, you know, all your concentrate washes and get all the muck off first and a silicone polish protector. So you can also do other items, your car, your caravan, stuff like that. Let's crack on and we'll do this in the stages and show you and see if we can get the old girl, high sea drifter, up to anywhere like new. Okay, we've got a yellow boat. We've got a yellow jumper, and there's only one way to clean this boat. Yellow marigold gloves. Right, so here we've got the concentrated marine wash. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure out 100 mil of this. I've used the Weiss Pyrex dish, which I probably won't be having any baked cakes on for a while, but get yourself a measurement. 100 mil of this into a bucket, and then you wanna put five liters, which I'm using a milk bottle, which I think was 2.247 of a litre, so two of these is five litres of warm water. Mix the two together in your bucket, keep your gloves on, and then you've got the concentrated marine wash to put on with a sponge, and that's gonna break everything down. But let's take a look at the top of my filthy boat, which hasn't been cleaned for some time. Now, if you have your boat under cover, and I don't, you're probably not too bad, but mine's out in the open, it gets seagull mess, it gets bird mess on there, and that's got like lime in it, that can eat in and mark it all up, so that's gonna be cleaned off. But, if I can get all this cleaned off, I believe, so they tell me, I will get back to the original color, and it will look pristine and new, and it will last a lot longer. This is how we do it. Okay, what you do with this marine wash is with a sponge, just gently rinse it all over. Now, if you have a sunny day, you need to do smaller areas because you don't want it drying out. In fact, if you let it sit on there when it's all soaked up for about, somewhere around about two to three minutes, I'm gonna show you the difference in the two halves of boat here, just so you can see exactly what this stuff does. It breaks it all down, all the grime, all the muck, and it draws that color back out. It enables you to, well, basically get back to the original color. And we've got three stages, it's so easy, it's ridiculous, and it's, you know, and I'm not, I'm not grinding away, am I? I'm not scouring, you don't want to scour this because you're going to scratch all the surface, and you get rid of all that, it softens and gets rid of all that bird muck and grease and grind, because I'm near road, you know, I keep my boat near road, and unfortunately I get a lot of traffic, get a lot of diesel, a lot of grease off the road. Now leave this two to three minutes, and then we're going to rinse it off. After three minutes, just wash all this off 
with a light spray. I'm going to try and keep it on a 50-50 basis so you can see half the boat, this canopy, this flying bridge is done and the other half is still with all the muck and grime on it. So I've got quite a big area I'm working on here because it's clouded over but on a sunny day it's hot, work on a smaller area. This off. I can see immediately all the all the rubbish and mucks come straight off it. You even get to do your shoes for free as well. Okay, I'm just going to let this go off a bit and then what I'm going to do is the second stage. Right, because the sun's gone in, I'm going to towel this off a bit just to show you. Now look at the difference between here, which you can see is all sort of smoky and milky. And I've had that like that for months. I've cleaned it a few times, but I haven't been able to get it up clean. And just look at this side, and we haven't even got rid of the stain or any other muck or grime that's there. It's just washed everything off. Now then, let's check this stage two out. Stage two is deep stain neutralized. Now that gets rid of all the really deep seated stains on there. And all you do is you get yourself a little receptacle this one's not the wife's cooking pot, by the way. Just pour some of this in there, just enough to get you going. It's, it's quite a thick concentrate, this. Now, you don't dilute this, you use it straight. Now, if you've got a really bad stain, and I haven't because this boat's not that old, you can just put it on the, on, on the one area and it'll, it'll lift it off. But that will be clean and the rest might be slightly smoky or dull. So what I'm going to do, and I'm only experimenting this, the first time I've ever used this product, I'm going to put it all over so that it cleans it evenly and gets rid of those deep-rooted stains. So the application for this can be with a soft sponge. It's better with a soft paintbrush. And you just dip it in and just cover everything. Again, don't do a monster area if it's sunny, if you've got the sun beating down. In fact, a cloudy day is better, I find, for cleaning anything. Cars, boats, caravans but I am going to cover the whole of the top of this flying bridge roof just to give you an idea and hopefully it gets rid of any stains that's on there. Smooth it all over and being as it's my boat, it's on my property, I'm doing what I want. Forget health and safety, I'm balancing on the edge with no ladder, no, no tie on ropes, none of that stuff. So if, just be careful, you know, if you're, if you're cleaning the boat, don't slip off. I like living dangerous, got to live on the edge. Well, I am on the edge, never mind I live on the edge. I'm about four inches away. But it's worth it for a clean boat. Now this you leave on for 20 minutes. So while we're waiting for all this stain remover to do its stuff, it takes 20 minutes. You must give it 20 minutes there. Small area of the roof, bigger areas, you know, if it's a cloudy day, smaller areas and allow for the uh, stain to work, you know, don't get it out in sunny days. We'll work that in there, leave that now. Let's take a look at the bilge uh, cleaner and deodorizer, and also we can check out the stainless cleaner as well. Okay, I'm deep in the bilge of High Sea Drifter. It's not the most wonderful place to be, but there you are. It's going to have to be deodorized and cleansed with the bilge clean from Co Clean. And again, this is numbered as number nine. Now, all you do with this is if there's some water in there, which I've, I've got some water in here, um, you can either put it on the sponge like this. Just tip a bit out of the sponge and work away all around the bilge area because it will clean it all and it will deodorize it as well. And trust me, being a fishing boat, it will definitely need deodorizing. I can see immediately, I tell you what, it's not a bad smell either. And if there's water in the bilge, you can sort of tip some in there. You don't need to rinse it off, it will clean itself out as and when the bilge cleans it. It's stripping all this muck off here, in here. And this, to me, again, this is the first time I've, I've used this. I've been in here with washing up liquid and scourers, and it's been tough getting anything off the sides, the old bits of fish. I can see immediately this stuff is definitely working. So I'm going to go for it big time. And even down here, it's going to clean up all this, because a lot of the time we're shark fishing, and we use a lot of chum, which is mashed up fish, and eventually it's going to find its way into the bilge. So there you go, that is the bilge cleaner, and you can just leave that to deodorize all the, and the pipe, pipes and the pumps. And it's just sitting in the bottom there. You're always going to get water, you're always going to get smells in bilges, but this makes life so much more bearable. And it definitely is lifting all that, all that mashed fish slime up, I can see it coming off.
Okay, let's take a look at stage six, which is the stainless steel metal renovator from CoClean. Okay, you use, I'm using a piece of soft toweling here. And I'm just gonna pour it out on top now. It's pretty, pretty thick cleaner, this stuff. Sort of milky cleaner. Put it out, rub it all over the stainless area you've got. And I'm gonna do the before and after just to show you as we move along. I'm gonna do half of this, this grab rail that we've got on the Wilson flyer. And possibly I'll do the upright as well. And again, we have a lot of fish coming over the side here. I'm thankful to say, and it's gunky. You know, you can you can wash down with hose pipes, and it's just not the same as using this this product to try and get the worst of it off, and then you can rejuvenate totally. And I can see already, without even buffing that off, that this stuff is going to be used on my boat many times. Okay, let's put the cap on this now, and I'm going to buff it off with a dry piece here. Let's see what this looks like. I'm going to go right to where I've, I've put this uh, renovator on, and I can see already the difference in the stainless. I mean, if you if you're spending money on any any boat, you know, whether you're regular boating or fishing or whatever, it's an investment. You want to protect that investment, and just a bit of time with the right product keeps it in first class condition. Now look how that stainless is coming up. A little bit of elbow grease. Now that is the good side there, which is absolutely stunningly, even I'm impressed with that, that's gleamy. And you can see along here is the filthy fishy side. Let's just come back this way and you can take a look, look at that. And if I had a really, really dry cloth, I could buff that and I could probably comb my hair in it. That's a good product, I'm impressed with that one. Yeah. Okay, so I've got some deck lights which are covered, they send the light down here, and they're probably just chrome. I don't believe those are stainless. I probably should have got stainless, but we're gonna see if these clean up because they always get muck all over them. And look at this, they're gonna come right up shining. They are so, let's get a bit more on there. I'm getting carried away, I'm like a, a, a frantic housewife now. I want to see more and more clean. Okay, let's buff that off, find a dry bit. Oh yeah, look at that. That seems to have got all the little rust marks off as well, and I'm sure, as I say, that that's not stainless, that might be a chrome one, but it is Wow, oh, look how it's come up. Not only can I see my face in it, you can see the camera and the cameraman. That's perfect. Okay, the stain remover's had its 20 minutes. Let's get the old jet wash. Get that right off. Now what that's done, because I put it on with a paintbrush evenly, I won't get patch marks on it, hopefully. It should be just one big clean area. And then, final stage, we put the Canuba wax on. Right, the wax is only just leave this now for two minutes to dry come back we're going to buff it off and we're going to see what it looks like okay we've got the silicon polish protector which we're putting on the top cabin and we're going to go right around the hole of the yellow and the hole of the hull but to finish off with when you've done all that if you use, and this is number four, that's a concentrated marine wash and wax. Every time you've been out in your boat, whether you're fishing, just cruising around or whatever, if you use that as a wash and wax, it won't strip the original wax that we're putting on now. It won't strip it all off like some cleaners do. It will actually clean it, but leave that wax base on there. So there you have it, code clean. All it takes is some of this. Elbow grease, get some in.